I'm a child. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So first, I'm sorry if my voice is a little croaky sounding. I've been sick for like a week. Um, I was thinking my throat would be better after a week, but apparently not. So the past month, I've actually gotten to do my makeup quite a few times, unlike March when I was sick the entire month. I have just found some absolute favorite, I want to say, holy grail products that I'm just absolutely obsessed with and I want to share with you guys. So the first product I'm going to talk about is actually a skincare product and if you have dry skin, I feel like you might really, really like this a lot. If you guys have seen my skincare video, you'll know that I really, really like the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Balm. I really like that. It's really good, but I think I kind of found like a drugstore dupe of it. This is a much more affordable product and I feel like it does the job just as well. It is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I've got the pink one. I don't really know what the differences are. It says it's an all-in-one, removes makeup, cleanses, and refreshes. No rinse, no harsh rubbing, face, lips, eyes, all skin types, even sensitive. So I've been using this since like the middle of March. Um, I will say I feel like I've used a lot of product considering I've only used it since March and it's now the end of April. Um, but it's so much more affordable. The cleansing balm's like $33 or $35 or something like that. And this, I think I got this with coupons for like $3. All I do with this is I just put it on my always off makeup cloths and then I just wipe my makeup off. I don't like need to rinse my face or anything. It's so nice and my face almost feels like my face almost feels hydrated after I use this. Like, it's definitely not dry. It doesn't feel anything like when you use soap to wash off your makeup. It's not dry. I feel like it almost makes my skin a little oily. Um, it says there's no oils or alcohol or fragrance, which there is no fragrance, which is great for me. I hate to say that it feels like it makes my skin oily because I actually have had a little bit more acne like since using this and I don't know if that's because of this or the other products that I've been using I feel like my skin's actually hydrated enough that it can like have acne if that makes sense I'm going to go through the products in the order I put them on my face I am wearing all these products on my face today and I'm just really liking the way my makeup looks except I'm having a bit of a bad eyeliner day so I'm sorry so if you follow me on Instagram or even if you've been watching my latest videos I think I've talked about this a few times in my latest videos and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the Light Bronzer. And oh my goodness. I have been wanting to try this because I know it's a holy grail from the drugstore. I just, I thought I'm like, you know, it can't be that great, can it? But it really, really is. First of all, the smell is amazing. Um, there's this, I think it's Suave. There's a Suave deodorant, it's like Tropical Breeze or something like that. I'm going to try and put a picture on here what I'm talking about is exactly what this smells like. I used to wear that deodorant and that's just, the, this takes me back to that and my sister still wears that deodorant so like, this is the smell of deodorant. Not like in a bad way though. Really, honestly, I don't even know what I like so much about it other than I just love the way it looks on my skin. I love the smell. I feel like it applies so nice. It's basically just, I know it's called the butter bronzer, but it really is like buttery. It's just, it's almost the only bronzer I have ran to this entire month. I've hated wearing like any other bronzer because I love this one so much. And I know it's not like the most affordable bronzer in the world, but I definitely think it's worth the money. Just the quality of this bronzer is just top notch. I seriously love it so, so much. This is definitely a YouTuber's made me buy it. Like everyone's raved about this so much, I felt the need to buy it. If you guys want to see me do a YouTuber's made me buy it video, give this video a big thumbs up. I really wanna do that. I've got so many products that I've been convinced to buy because of YouTubers. And I think it'd be such a fun video to tell you guys if they were really worth the hype or not. Another YouTuber's made me buy it is the Burt's Bees Fair Peach Blush. Kathleen Lights raves about this blush and I just had to have it because I'm so into peach blushes lately. And this is so pretty. It's what's on my cheeks today. It's just so, so beautiful. I love it. It's also very, very pigmented. So you definitely want to have a light hand unless you're like me and you just really love blushes. It is also matte. I don't really know what's so special about this blush other than the color. I just think the color is absolutely beautiful. It's a very powdery formula. Like there's a lot of kick up 
and if you're not careful, you know, you get a ton of blush. I've got a ton of blush, but that's because I like having a ton of blush. So I guess that's why I like this so much. It's so pigmented. It's just the perfect peach shade that depending on like what makeup look you're going for, I feel like this just goes with absolutely every makeup look. If you love peach blush, you really need to check this one out. So the not so affordable product that I have today is the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. It's not really the trio itself that I've been obsessed with, although I do really like Space Baby. I've been wearing glazed donut almost every single day since I got this. And that is what I have on my face today. And just look at this glow. I'm so crazy about it. This highlighter is so beautiful. Look at that. It is so, so stunning. This highlighter is so buttery smooth. I've been using this constantly and I feel like I've barely used any product at all. It's so pigmented. The pigmentation in this is just absolutely amazing. I do think that if I ever run out of glazed donut in this little trio, I will buy a full-sized one because honestly it's got to be worth it. It has to be worth the $35. This is $29 and this is 100% worth it. This trio has just been my go-to trio. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, the Burt's Bees Bare Peach Blush, and the Glazed Donut Ofra Highlight. They're the best. I have not stopped wearing this combination almost the entire month, and I love it so much. So another favorite product I've been using all month that I kind of fudged up a little bit on my face today is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I can't even believe this isn't a favorites video because I bought this, first of all, thinking it wasn't a felt tip. Then when I found out it was a felt tip, I was very upset because I hate felt tips. And I honestly really like this. I do find that it is a little bit messy because the felt tip is like, it's very flexible at the very tip and then the rest of it's kind of like hard. And I, I don't find that the easiest to work with. I mean, it's very nice, but as you can see, it's very easy to get like a very thick line and trying to get a tiny little thin wing like I normally do can be difficult. I just love how matte this is. Like it dries down very, very matte. I mean, it goes on, you can see it's kind of shiny, but it dries down so matte. I just felt like I had to mention that because I haven't stopped using it. Honestly, I've been using the same ELF eyeliner the entire time I've ever done makeup. And now I've switched over to Wet n Wild. So I think that is all I have for you guys today. I definitely think you guys should check these products out. I mean, if you like a peach blush, a matte bronzer, a matte eyeliner, an intense glow, you need to check these products out. I guess we'll see next month if I've changed my mind about any of these products. If you guys are seeing this video, my channel will officially be one year old, or at least I've been putting out videos for an entire year. And that's really crazy to me, so thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you want to see a YouTubers Made Me Buy It video. I would love to do that. I've got so many things. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Saturday, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye!